Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I uh, hope you guys are having a good day. I hope you had a good weekend. Um, I had a great weekend. It was my oldest son's birthday and so I <laughs> I borrowed a uh, 2021 Dodge Charger Hellcat Red Eye Edition and uh, took him out cruising and out to lunch and everything. We had a good time. That's a <laughs> that's one hell of a slick car. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, we had a good time. So it was, uh, it was, it was fun. So I hope your weekend was good. I hope you're easing into the week. Um, I just wanted to start off in this video by saying I appreciate your guys' comments. Um, I appreciate anything you guys have to say, any input you have to give me. Um, and at the moment, I am still a small enough channel, and who knows, I might always be a small enough channel to where I see every one of your comments, I read every one of your comments, and I try to acknowledge or respond to every one of your comments. Um, now, as I grow, I know that might not be possible um, if I continue to get larger and larger. Um, but again, who knows how, how much I'll grow or not grow. But that being said, um, there's times that I get notifications for um, comments or something, and I can read the comment and the notification, but when I click on it to respond, and it takes me to the video, the or the uh, comment is not there. So I don't know if the people um, delete their own comments, or if YouTube's kind of deleting some comments, or if there's a setting wrong somewhere that I'm missing. But anyway, just know that if you have sent me a comment and you haven't deleted it and I haven't responded, that's probably why. Um, <clears throat> Because like I said, I'll, I'll get a notification saying I have a comment. I can read a part of the comment in my notification screen. And as soon as I click on it um, and it takes me to the video that has been commented on, uh, that comment is no longer there. So uh, that being said, I do value your comments. And I'm not just a jerk and ignoring any of these comments. Um, I do try to acknowledge and respond to them. But if I didn't respond to a comment of yours, um, I apologize. Just um, keep them coming. I am taking notes on people when people request stuff. If I can't comment back, you know, I am making notes and stuff people want to see or, or questions people have. So that being said, let's jump into today's video. I had a comment on my last video about my uh, decoration on my terminal. And if we launch my terminal here, um, you'll see, oh, let's launch a different version of it. I have a few of them set up so where it'll actually have a, there we go. Um, you can see I've got a moving uh, GIF here as opposed to just a ASCII art picture or anything like that. And I had a question asking me how I get that set up. So I figured I'd just take a minute and create a video here and show you how I do that. Um, that being said, there is one caveat to this and that is you will most likely have to change terminal emulators. Um, the only terminal emulator that I know of that this works in is Kitty. Um, it's a great emulator, so it wouldn't be bad to have to switch to Kitty, but I know some people are um, kind of, um, you know, not picky, but um, particular. That's what I'm looking for. I'm pretty particular about uh, programs they use and software they use and everything, but this would require you switching to the Kitty terminal. Which, if we switch over here, um, like I said, it's a great terminal. Um, their web page here is uh, extremely well done, um, and it's very fast, and it's got a lot of features and options to it. Um, this video is not on Kitty itself, so I'm not going to go in too deep, but I just recommend checking it out. Um, I will show one thing that I find is quite amusing. Um, right here, it says it's cross platform, which is great, you know. And if you look down here, we got Linux, we got Mac, and we got various BSDs. Do you notice what's missing? And I love this. <laughs> it's missing Windows. It's cross platform, but Windows, you don't count. <laughs> I love it. So that being said, um, if you come to this, um, their website, they've got a lot on here. Um, I don't have time to go through all of it in this video, but it's there's just a lot to it. So I definitely recommend checking it out. And again, if you want to use that uh, moving GIF like this, you're going to have to switch to Kitty. Um, and that being said, how that works is Kitty has these things, I believe they're down here, and they're called kittens. And yep, extend with kittens right here. So they have this list right here of different things you can do in the terminal with Kitty. Like iCat here allows you to look at images in the terminal. And this is the kitten we use for um, that to get that GIF in the in the terminal. Uh, but they have Kitty-diff, which allows, it opens up a looks like an HTML page that'll show you. Um, uh, differences in files, um, Unicode input, it's got hints. There's just so much on this. Again, not a kitty video, so I'm not going to go into it. Take the time if you're going to do this, come check out the, their webpage. That being said, once you get kitty installed, 
and um, you get Kitty up and going, then you're going to want to figure out, obviously, what, what GIF you want, but you're going to need to download an image, um, whether it be a logo or um, you know a, a picture or whatever. You're going to want to download that, and then you're going to go to this site here called Photomosh. Now, when you go to Photomosh, all you're going to have to do is come down here to Load File, you click on that, and then you're going to choose a file. It's going to bring up your file picker. Um, I already have a directory in my pictures directory called Mosh. That's got all of my GIFs in it. So every time I launch a terminal, it gives me a different different GIF, and I'll go over that in a, in a little bit here. But then you just find the image you want. So we'll go to Images, we'll go to Brand, and let's do this guy right here. So you find the image you want, you click on that, and there you go. Now we've got it in here. So when you get it picked up and put in here, then you just click on this mosh button. Click mosh, and it's going to start scrolling through. You just keep clicking. It'll give you different uh, different effects that you can uh, uh, add to your image and create a GIF out of. So just click that, find one you want. So say we wanted to do that one. Well, once you figure out one you want, you got to come up here because it's going to either save it as a JPEG, a GIF, or a WebM. So we click on GIF or GIF, I don't know how you pronounce it, but I pronounce it GIF. Um, you click on GIF, and then you come down here and you hit record. And now it's going to take time, it's going to record what's going on in the GIF, then it's going to pop up a window to have you save it, and then you just save it to uh, to your system. Um, like I said, I have a uh, mosh folder with all my GIFs in it in, uh, in my pictures directory. I'm not going to save this because I don't want it, but you just save it here, and then you're done with this uh, with this site. So then, what you got to do is, see if we do, if we clear the screen here, and now I don't have a, a GIF on there, what you're going to have is, you're going to type in kitty, plus, actually let's, let's zoom in here so you guys can see a little better, you're going to type in kitty, plus kitten, iCat, remember the different kittens that were listed on their website, iCat is the one we're going to use, and then you put the path to that GIF you just saved. So, um, say it was in, oh, but first you want to, sorry, first you wanted to do a line left, if you want it up in that left-hand corner. You do a line center, if you want to center, anyway, um, a line left, I'll put it up in that left-hand corner, and then you put it to, let's say, let's say pictures, and we'll do mosh, and we'll do, let's see, logo 10 dot gif. If we hit enter, it's going to take a second, and there we go. Now, just like that, you can have that uh, moving GIF up in the corner. Um, one of the questions the gentleman had that asked me about this was, does it slow down your terminal? And the answer to that is yes and no. Um, it does slow down launch speed of your terminal. When you launch your terminal, it's going to take about two seconds or so for it to actually search that GIF and load it and then go. Once it's loaded and running, no, it doesn't seem to slow down the terminal at all. Terminal at all. I haven't noticed any difference in speed when it comes to executing commands and running through the terminal with this running. The only thing it did slow down was launch speed of the terminal. Now, how do we launch this from uh, when we launch our terminal? Well, that's easy. Basically, you're just going to take this command right here, this kitty this kitty plus kitten icat command right here and you're going to put it in your .bashrc or your .zshrc and you're going to run and it's going to launch when you launch your terminal. However, there is a caveat to this. I found that when you do this, since kitty is the only terminal emulator that this works in, when you launch any other terminal emulator, it takes about 10 seconds to try and run this command before it will fail and then just launch it to your prompt. And that's kind of annoying. It won't launch your NeoFetch or PFetch or whatever else. It's obviously just going to launch this. So I use ST for my scratch pads. If you saw my other video on scratch pads, I am in love with scratch pads. I use scratch pads all the time. Um, so I haven't found a way to get Kitty to work as a scratch pad, mainly because I'm relatively new to using Kitty. The only reason I, I did this was so I could get this working GIF in there. But I haven't figured out how to get Kitty working as a scratch pad. That being said, the other terminal emulator I use most frequently is Alacrity. And Alacrity, while I can get it to work as a scratch pad, 
on Xmonad, I can't get it to work on DWM, and on Xmonad, when I use Alacrity as a scratch pad, it doesn't obey my window rules. I can toggle it on and off like I want, or hide and show, but I can't get it to follow my window rules for some reason. And I've kind of dug around in it a bit, but I've just found the easiest thing to do is continue using ST, because ST just seems to work when I set it up as a scratch pad. That problem being, I can't get this moving GIF in ST, and if I want my scratch pad to launch quickly, I can't have just this command in my ZSHRC. So, I'm going to show you what I've done to get around that problem. So if we go into my ZSHRC, uh, right here, and we scroll down, what I have here is basically a fix for uh, being able to use multiple terminals and only launch the iCat kitten on the kitty terminal. And what we have is, again, if I launch a terminal with my main terminal key, with my main terminal key bind, which is Alt Shift Enter, I get the kitty terminal and I get that moving GIF, which is good. That's what I want. So let's close that out. So if I launch a scratch pad, that's ST. My ST works, but I don't try to launch that kitty or iCat command. I actually launch pfetch in my scratch pad, just like I want it to. So every time I launch a scratch pad, it has pfetch. That being said, say I want to launch Alacrity. If I launch Alacrity, I have NeoFetch launching with Alacrity. So depending on which emulator I'm launching, that's the decoration that's going to launch. And I'll show you how I've got that set up. Um, I'll go over this logo command here in a second. But basically, I just have a case statement here that says, in the case that the terminal I'm launching is Kitty, then it's going to run the Kitty plus Kitten, iCat, align left, and then it's going to run the path to my logo.gif. And I'll go over that right there in a second when I go over this logo command. But then it says if the terminal that's launched is ST, it's going to run pfetch, not the kitty plus kitten iCat command. It'll launch ST and launch pfetch with it. And then xterm-256 color, if you open Alacrity and just type in echo and then this command right here, term, uh, the dollar sign capital T-E-R-M, it's going to come up with xterm-256 color. That's just telling you that xterm-256 color is the window name for um, Alacrity. So it's, uh, it's going to see if it launches xterm-256 color, which is Alacrity, it's going to run NeoFetch. So depending on which terminal emulator I'm launching, it's going to run a different decoration for each of those terminal emulators. Um, so that being said, this logo.gif here, this is my random GIF that I have created with this command right here. And if we open a terminal here, and we, I'll clear that, and we'll zoom in, and let's do Ranger real quick, and I'll show you right here. Basically, this command here is gonna be run before it runs any of these. And what that is is just basically a little script to put a random uh, to put a random GIF in that uh, logo dot GIFs in that logo dot GIF that I'm calling right right here. So basically, what it does is it has a variable for the directory, which is home pictures mosh. That's where all my mosh GIFs are stored. Remember, I showed you when we uh, when we downloaded the one, and then I have a, a variable for logo. And what that variable for logo is, is it's going to find directory. It's going to find this directory right here. And then it's going to search for any, that's the star of the glob, any .gif file that's in there. It's going to pipe that into shuff. And then this dash n1 means it's going to draw one of those at random. And it's going to put it into this location. It's because I have cat logo. So basically it's going to take whatever it does here. And it's going to cat that out into home slash jake slash pictures slash logo.gif, which is right here, home. This is the variable for home, so it'll be home jake pictures logo.gif, and that's what this is gonna pull over here. So this command runs here, gets me a random gif in this file, or in this location here. So when I launch kitty, it's gonna give me a different, uh, a different uh, moving gif every time I launch it. ST is gonna launch pfetch, when if I launch ST, it's gonna read that and say, okay, we're launching ST256 color, we don't wanna launch kitty plus kitten, we wanna launch pfetch. 
And again, if I'm launching Alacrity, it's going to see, okay, we're launching Xterm-256 color. We don't want Kitty plus Kitten iCat, and we don't want PFetch. We want NeoFetch. So um, it's going to run that. So that being said, that's how you do it. I hope this uh, makes a lot of sense or makes enough sense to you where you can figure it out. Um, again, what you need to do is you need to download and install Kitty, which is here. Go over the, the website, man. It's a great it's a great emulator. Um, you're not going to be missing out on anything switching over to it. Um, and then once you have that downloaded and installed, you're going to go to Photomosh. You're going to choose your GIF, so if whatever logo or picture you want, you're going to go in here and you're going to create that. Um, and then save that. And then, again, you are just going to run that um, iCat. Let's close this. Um, you're just going to put this. If you're only going to use Kitty, you don't have to have this whole case. Oops. You don't have to have this whole case statement in here. If you're only going to use Kitty, all you have to run, you can take everything out except this line right here. Just put this line that's highlighted in your .bash RC or your .zshrc and you'll be good to go. But if you're going to run multiple emulators and you want them to either have no decoration or um, have NeoFetch or PFetch, you're going to need a case statement like this and so it knows what to do. But that being said, that's it. Um, I hope you had a great uh, great time watching this. Um, I had a great time making it for you and so I hope you uh, understand this. I want to thank uh, one gentleman, Tom on the internet. That's where I've, I've saw this at and I kind of took hold of it and ran with it but uh, I just want to thank him for, for putting out his video on this. Um, yeah, so uh, again, if you found this useful or handy, use it. Um, I appreciate it and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and God bless.